Today we are going to do a very quick demonstration of removing rust using hydrochloric acid. Um, so I have those uh, uh, two bits that uh, I have used uh, when I was fixing the pool pump. So unfortunately, the soft, the soft water got on top of this and those, those, those two bits and made them very rusty. And uh, I have this bottle of hydrochloric acid that we used to, um, to adjust the pH level of the pool water. Um, so what you need is just the acid and the container, a plastic container that's um, not going to dissolve in the acid. And if you're not quite sure what sort of container you need to get, just look at the bottom of the container of the hydrochloric acid and find a uh, plastic container with the same logo. Um, so this one has uh, uh, a recycling symbol and it says PP. And first thing first, let's uh, remove those rusty two bits and put them in the container. As you can see, those ones are um, pretty rusty. Hope you can get a focus on them. Um, right, I'm just holding the phone with one hand and getting those out with the other. Um, one important thing is always wear protective gear. So I'm wearing a mask and uh, um, protective goggles. So when I'm pouring out the acid, I'm going to uh, put on a pair of gloves. Um, it looks like I need two hands, so I'll just pause the video. Now I just will start to pour the acid into the container. Uh, well, interestingly, among the most corrosive three um, type of acid it is pretty easy to acquire hydrochloric acid without raising any uh, suspicion because uh, you use this thing to uh, as I mentioned just the pH level of your pool and also you etch the concrete and as I'm wearing the uh, uh, the mask still you can smell it's a very very strong um, corrosive gas coming out of the reaction um, <clears throat> if my uh, memory serves me right when um, metal rusty metal reacts with hydrochloric acid you get uh, first the water and iron chloride. See so those are almost clean. So the rest of it are gone. I think the greenish color is because the iron chloride is coming out of the iron chloride. <coughs> Pretty clean, and then we need to uh, get rid of the, um, the unused acid. Clean to this from the container ASAP because it's plenty of, of water um, left as a result of reaction. But don't touch this because still got plenty of acid on top. Um, ah, sorry. What I was trying to say is don't touch this with your bare skin because it's going to uh, burn the hand really badly. So I'm just trying to dry this with a uh, newspaper. And then because you don't want to wash the treated tools with water, the best thing we could use here is WD-40. Just to give this thing a good spray with WD-40. I think it's going to uh, repel the water, the water residue on the two bits, and also 
give those things like protected co coating. Speaking of